How you doing? My name is John. Uh, some of you probably know me by John Fu. Some of you know me by my whole real name. And some of you know me by Cut'em. So, a few different things. I'm a filmmaker and also a co-parent. Uh, and trying to mix all of that together. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to start doing a vlog. Uh, I've been asked by several people uh, to do a little bit more speaking. So, I figured, you know what, why not? Uh, I have a lot of things in my past that might help some of you, you know. Uh, even if you're just working and you're trying to be a co-parent or if you're trying to learn anything about film or music, uh, I have a lot of background in a lot of that. So, I come from music, I uh, started in music, I used to be a rapper, uh, went from being a rapper into writing films to writing films to actually making films. Uh, went to film school. I'm not going to say the name of the school just because uh, they never did anything for me, but I am glad of the people that I did meet in film school. <laughs> but that's a whole other story. So yes, I am a filmmaker and I am a single parent slash co-parent and uh, I do a few days in LA, I do a few days in Bakersfield, California, so I'm traveling back and forth every week uh, in order to still stay significant in my filmmaking. Then when I'm in Bakersfield, I'm more of a parent, but thank God that my job allows me to go and film for a day to, you know, on, right now we're doing a lot of more short films or music videos and stuff like that. So all I really need is, you know, an external hard drive or if I'm writing, all I need is my computer and final draft. Uh, so, and then when I do travel, I usually just take an external drive and if I'm in LA at Studio X, I usually, I have uh, any editing programs or Photoshop or anything like that that I need to use so I can do, uh, I do some graphic design, I do editing, I write, <clears throat> I direct, do some producing, which I, I don't like, but I can get the job done. So, just a little bit about me. Uh, if you follow me, you probably follow me on Instagram, you follow, probably follow me on Facebook. Uh, on Facebook, I go by John Fu. On my Instagram, I go by Cut'em Films. Uh, through both of those, you'll actually see a lot of my personal life uh, and a lot of my work as well. So, you know, I'm not just constantly uh, doing work. A lot of my work is also being with my kids. So I actually, they've been on set with me when I'm filming. And so if you have worked with me, you probably have seen my kids on set uh, sometimes. Not all the time, but... You know, sometimes I can't get a sitter, so, you know, I still got to get the job done, so I do take my kids, or if we're filming at home, my kids will be there. So, that's just the way I choose to do things now. Give you a little bit of history. I have three older kids, and 22, 20, and my daughter just turned 18 this uh, in July, at the end of July. So, uh, I was married, went through all of that. And when I went through all of that, that's kind of when I started my career. And I made a lot of selfish decisions on what I was doing. I thought me going out there and trying to work and trying to build my name was benefiting my family. I think at the end, the ones I did hurt were my older children. And I, it kind of sucks. So, this time around, I've now that I am still doing filmmaking, and uh, a lot of the contexts that I did make back in the days are still relevant to my life now. And did did somebody suffer through all of that? Yeah, my older kids did. And so this is kind of me uh, showing some of you. Trust me, I I know how it goes. I know how it it goes to be working and also trying to be a parent. And I know, especially if you're working in any part of entertainment, you know, our hours are not the same as everybody else. We're not nine to five people. Any artistic people, we're not nine to five people. But 
doesn't say we work harder or we work less. It just means we do things a little bit differently. So yeah, you might catch us at two, three in the morning, you know, still working and get up the next day at seven or eight in the morning and start again. You know, we probably are the ones that actually get the less amount of sleep. On an average, I do four to five hours of sleep and it feels great to get an eight hour night of sleep. Uh, but you know, those are the sacrifices that we make, especially me in the current situation that I'm in, uh, doing filmmaking and all of this. I mean, I have the two kids that I have now, you know, they are, uh, my little girl starts school tomorrow, kindergarten, so she's five years old. Then I have my little son, and he is three, will be four in September. So a lot of my day consists of me trying to sit in front of a computer and my son, you know, sitting on top of my back, my daughter's trying to sit on top of my lap and see what I'm doing, and which I, I, I love those moments, but it is sometimes very difficult to actually work. Uh, but I still get the job done, so a lot of the times I'll try to spend a little bit of time with them in the daytime, here and there, sporadically. I might jump on the floor, play some little ponies with my daughter, uh, do some abcmouse.com with the kids, uh, and now I'm kind of starting to help my daughter with actually uh, writing her name and preparing her a little bit more for school and and doing that also for my son. So usually I'll put the kids to sleep and then I end up jumping in front of the computer a little bit longer till two, three in the morning because I am trying to play catch up. And so that is my life. That is currently what I am doing. So this blog, I'm gonna try to tell you what I'm going through uh, some of it might be personal, uh, some of it might just be to answer any questions that any of you might have. Uh, I've helped people, most of, most of my, my older life, when I was younger I was actually very s selfish on knowledge and I found that to be a very horrible thing to do. I was very, I was one of those people that was like, you know what, I went through these struggles uh, so the next man should have to go through these struggles. But I've gotten to the age where I'm like, you know what, if you come to me and you have a question, whether it's about film, whether it's about being a parent, editing, writing, you just want to send me your music so I can listen to it, whatever it is, I, I usually am, I'm, I'm very honest. Some people might not like that. Uh, some people appreciate it. Uh, it's not me bashing anybody in case you do send me anything and I give you my honest opinion. Uh, so please don't take it the wrong way. If anything is to at least hopefully make you better. But in creativity, there's people that like one certain type of thing and there's another group of people that like another certain type of thing. So my opinion is just one person's opinion. So I may not like it, but it's not to say the next man may not like it. Same thing goes for everything that I do as well. Uh, so, this is my blog, and I'm going to start doing them a little bit more regular. And so you might see my kids in some of them. You might, you know, catch me on set. Who knows? But uh, if you have any questions, definitely email me. Uh, you can email me either at john at studiox slash la.com or you can email me at cutemfilms at gmail.com or even find me on Facebook. Uh, I've got the link right there. Uh, or follow me on Instagram. You know, uh, whatever it is. If you want to follow me, you got questions, whatever. Uh, if you need help on set, you know, I, I, I'm, I definitely love to help out as much as I can. Uh, not to say that, you know, I, I need, you know, uh, a lot of compensation but if it does require me to to leave and you know do something uh, I usually do like to get paid so just think about that uh, not in a bad way but you know some things if I do see some a great opportunity and maybe it's something that I haven't done before shoot sign me up and usually I, I'll come out of my own pocket just to do it because I haven't done it so uh, so you never know so like I said if you have any questions send them to me. I mean, I get asked all the time anyways, you know, from editing to whatever it is. I constantly get asked. So, 
And I don't mind sharing knowledge. And if you get a chance and you might know something, share your knowledge. Don't be greedy with it, okay? I'm going to leave you with that, a little bit of advice, all right? So don't be greedy with knowledge. Share it. Pass it on, okay? Makes everything run a little bit better, all right? All right, your boy John Fu, out. If you have any questions, again, hit me up, all right? Have a good one. Thanks.